Some people waste their feed by introducing it to the snail pen in the morning. No. Even there are some training that I've found online that it said you wear the snail both morning and evening. It's a lie. Make sure there's always drinker and feeder because snail also drink water. So far your snail pen is facing the direction of the sun, they will find it difficult to reproduce. If you feed them with the formulated feed, what you later notice is that there will be higher mortality rates among these young snails. Let me start from keeping Akatina marginata with Akatina Akatina. First thing you notice is that Akatina Akatina will kill the Akatina marginata. That's first thing. Make sure before you put in any soil inside the snail pen or snail house, make sure you treat the soil. Whatever the food you give them in the evening, the following day, make sure you pack it out. With the fresh banana leaf, it will rot, it will decay. It's unless you introduce it to the sunlight. And the water coming out from it will kill the snail. Uh, my name is Abdurashid Temitope. I'm a farmer. So I've been in snail farming since 2015. Then here we have the pen I used to train some people. So in case we have the practical or explanation training like this. Now the mistake that some people made during this uh, construction of snail pen is using of materials that are not good, like wood now. To construct a snail pen, you must use a wood that will not be consumed by termites. Second thing is managing of resources. So some people will construct a pen which can only contain 50 or 100 pieces of snail, but due to uh, their plans to go bigger in this business, they will overstock. And we know overstock kills snail. Before you put in any soil inside the snail pen or snail house, make sure you treat the soil to avoid parasites. Yes, a lot of things can happen if, you're not, if you don't treat your soil. So let's give an example. Someone who bought a house without fumigating the parking side. A lot of diseases and infections can be attracted to it. The soil you got from the farm, not only the plants or the, uh, the vegetables on the farms benefit from the soil. We have some bacteria that affect the snails, like centipede, millipede, other sorts of other worms that can attack the snails, even termites, to their hands. They buried inside the soil. Once you pack them without treatment to the snailry, it will affect your snail. The first thing to do is to treat the snail. And we have different way we treat the soil. Make sure you don't introduce any chemical formulated uh, substance to the, snow, to the snail soil. Because anything like chemical or spray or salt easily kill the snail. So the best way to treat the soil is by getting a pot, put it on the fire, let the pots uh, warm a bit before you introduce the soil. After you apply the soil inside the pots, keep mixing, keep mixing, changing few minutes and do that for the next five to 10 minutes before you take it out. Any leaf or anything that has water in it or already get in contact with water and you left it over without taking it away from the snail, moment that such sort of things became rotten, decaying, it will produce an acidic liquid which can easily kill the snail. It is very good to give uh, to introduce dry banana leaf, not for feeding, but for them to hibernate to to, to stay during the day's time. Because under the banana uh, dry banana leaf, it will look as if they are in their normal natural habitats, the way they live in the bush. Now, with the fresh banana leaf, you left it there. There is no how fresh thing will not rot or decay without seeing the sunlight. It will rot, it will decay. It's unless you introduce it to the sunlight. And the water coming out from it will kill the snail. So apart from this banana leaf, all other fresh leaf, or any, even the formulated feed, if the formulated feed is in contact with water, it's advisable to take it out immediately or the following day to avo avoid it from being contaminated. Whatever the food you give them in the evening, the following day, make sure you pack it out. Because if it takes much longer, the snail itself provides water. The more they crawl, the more they provide water. The more there is, uh, their slime is, is liquid. So, and also you wet them. Then at the same time, wherever they hit it will be wet. And if you don't take that food out from, their snail, from the snail pail, the second day, then the, before it gets to the third day, the thing will start decaying. And those gas, liquid from a decay substance, kill, decay food rather, kill snail. 
For example, let me start from the time. The best time from, it, it will not take much of a time, though, but the best time to, to feed the snail is in the evening. Some people waste their food, by uh, their feed, by introducing it to the snail pen in the morning, no. Even there are some training that I've, I've, uh, I've found online that it said, you wear the snail both morning and evening, it's a lie. It will cause a lot, a lot of problem to the snail. The proper way to introduce feed, proper time to introduce feed to the snail is in the evening when the sun sets. Approximately around between 5 to 6 p.m. sometimes and 6 to 7 p.m. sometimes. So it shouldn't exit the 7 p.m. because anytime from 7 p.m. snail will start coming out sort to sort for their food. So the best time is five to six or six to seven when, once you once you came back from work or you are free just come into your pen give spray them water first to cool their system after then you get your drinker you get your feeder make sure there's always drinker and feeder because snail also drink water introduce the feeder and the drinker and don't use a deep container or substance make sure you use tray or something flat to feed them and to give them drink before you introduce your feet, you firstly spray the snail. You get a watering can, water sprinkler, or tube. Or if you are unable to get that, you can get a bottle like this. Make a hole on the cover of the bottle, add the water inside, then you spray. And if you are unable to get this also, you can use your hand. Like this, once you get water inside your hand like this, this quantity like this, then you, you put it on the snail like this. You wave your hand like this. Don't wet them during the sunlight. Don't wet them or feed them in the morning. Make sure you wet and feed them in the evening. In the evening. That is the, the best time to feed them. Some people introduce uh, formulated feed. Immediately they notice their snail as arch. The snail hex arch. No, it is not advisable. If you have, if your snail lays eggs and it's arch, the first thing is to wait for about seven to 10 days because the arch snails will firstly feed on the snail shell. It's shell, it's, uh, it's eggshell. The egg shell the snake came out from, the, 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 the baby snail will firstly feed on it to grow its own shell. After then, you've noticed that they have started crawling out to source for feed. They introduce them to green feeding. That is the, 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 the fruits and the vegetable. It will give them more nutrients and it will make them grow faster. But after that two weeks, then you can introduce your formulated feed. So that's when you can decide if you want to breed them for meat or you want to breed them from reproduction. If you are breeding snail for, for reproduction, that is, these snails I will be selling to breeders. That is the point of lace. Don't feed them only on formulated feed. Feed them also with uh, the green, vegetable and fruit also to give them more nutrients. If you feed them with the formulated feed, what you later notice is that there will be higher mortality rates among these young babies, young snails. With my own experience, once they are about two weeks old, then you can introduce the formulated feed. Weather condition is very important when you want to go into snail business. For example, Look at this place now. You can see we are facing the direction of the sun. So, so far your snail pen is facing the direction of the sun. It will reduce the reproductive system, uh, the repro reproductive rate of the snail. They will find it difficult to reproduce. So because the moment they start producing the egg, the heat from the sun would ferment it and would not make it easy for them to reproduce. If, you, if the place you want to use is directly focusing the sunrise, then you make sure you provide adequate shade because snails need a cool place to survive. Let me start from keeping Akatina marginata with Akatina Akatina. First thing you notice is that Akatina Akatina will kill the Akatina marginata. That's first thing. It will kill the Akatina marginata because the mouth or this, the, the, the flesh of the Akatina Akatina is as sharp as the sham paper the carpenter use. The yeah, hey, we kill the AM. Yeah, hey. Then secondly is it will reduce the reproductive rates. You cannot introduce a hey with a hem or a hem with a hef or a hef with a hey and thinking that they will 
uh, meat together. No, snails meet with the same species. They will not reproduce. They will never meet themselves. Each species will go for each other. If you keep them together, this might be the mistake some farmers made that they will say the way since months they've keeping their snail, so their snail has never lay eggs. Talk less of getting uh, another reproduction from them.